Hi, hey, how you Mr. doing? Michael, how are you? Hey. All how's, right. How's everything in back there? Everything's going great. Thank you. All your fruits, all your vegetables. Yeah. What are you doing? Hi guys, my name is Mike, also known as the One Fig Man on message boards such as Our Figs and Figbid.com. I'm here today to talk to you about fertilizers. A little earlier today, my my fertilizer injection systems came by FedEx. I was so happy, so I figured let me make a video and share with you guys. I'm about to mix up my fertilizers for my drip irrigation system. When I fertilize, I like to what we call fertigate or fertigation. That's the concatenation of fertilization and irrigation. And essentially what that is, is fertilizing every time you irrigate. So obviously we don't need to use such high concentrations of fertilizers. And in all honesty, some of these fertilizers can be harmful to your, to your fig trees. If you're frequently using fertilizers such as these chemical fertilizers, what will happen is not all the fertilizer will be absorbed by the, the plant and some of the fertilizer will be left behind. And what's left behind will either run off into our irrigation systems such as our water systems and sewers and that heavy dosing of especially the phosphorus that's the middle number right there can cause harm. So I like to provide a lot of nutrients in micro amounts essentially. Now all my trees are potted up in peat moss or some type of potting mix blend that doesn't have nutrients in it like your ground soil typically would have. Therefore it is really important for me to provide nutrients all the time for the tree as if I don't there's nothing for it to utilize. So let's get right into it try to shorten up my, uh, my second video here. So we have the three numbers as I mentioned before the second number was phosphorus but the first number is nitrogen, the second number is phosphorus and the third number is potassium and again those are called the micronutrients. I also use an additional uh, nutrient supplement called the plant kelp food kelp plant food which provides a lot of the micronutrients. Now the chemical fertilizers a lot of them do have the micronutrients and you'll be able to see them on the back they'll provide an analysis of the various elements that are in there for your plant. But again if I'm if I'm going to be feeding all the time then it's probably not best to use those chemicals. The other issue with the chemical fertilizers is if whatever's not absorbed by the plant, as the, as the water starts to evaporate or be utilized by the tree, it will leave behind a lot more of those salts, and those salts will build up. Too much of these salts can cause toxicity of the tree. This is uh, true with over-fertilization, even if it's not just the buildup. If you just make a super concentrate and feed your tree, again, that toxicity could call, call kill the tree. So I do use all these out here, including the Osmocote, which you can see maybe behind me right here, as well as the CalMag, that's another supplement. I typically um, use food based off of what I'm trying to do with the tree at that time of the year. So things like nitrogen, nitrogen is very important for leaf development. And that leaf development is really important shoot development just on at the start of the season during bud break. So in those cases, I would try to feed more of a higher nitrogen blend. Also because it's the beginning of the year and it hasn't received any of those, uh, those inorganic or those, uh, those chemical fertilizers, I'll typically use these in the beginning of spring. And I think this, tomato plant food has something like a 21, 18, 21 or some high level of ratio based off the recommended dosage per gallon of water. So um, I use this in the beginning and then throughout the year as I water typically some of those salts will wash away or they will be reintegrated for utilization of the tree. However, when I start to go into the fertigation process, which is the everyday fertilizing as irrigating, I like to use these organic compounds. They break down real easy and my trees really respond well to it. So that's, that's one of my drivers for using the Alaska brand. Everyone has uh, something that works for them. And a lot of what you find on the internet is mixed with truth, falsification, as well as maybe uh, belief or opinion. And that may also well be in my videos if I misspoke and, and you find something not to be as factual as I thought it was, definitely please comment below and help educate me as well. So getting back to the 511, that's the, that's the ratio of macronutrients. We just talked about nitrogen. 
stem growth, leaf growth. The next one is, uh, is phosphorus and potassium. And those both have overlapping benefits for our trees. Uh, that's primarily for root growth as well as flower or fruit production. Now, in fig trees, uh, the fruits are the flowers, as in all trees that I'm aware of. Essentially, a fruit is just the ovary of the, of the, that produces for the seeds for the reproduction of, of that specific variety. But in our case, um, a fig is a flower, it's an inverted flower, and we want to provide nutrients for the tree to produce those fruits. So and that's why I move over to our more bloom, which is 0 10, 10. What's interesting is uh, what I was reading recently on the internet is the difference between a complete and incomplete fertilizer. Complete fertilizers have numbers for all three amounts, and it's considered balanced if it has equal parts, at least from what I've read. An incomplete fertilizer has a zero in it, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. When I don't want so much leaf growth, especially when we're starting to go into the dormancy of the trees, but yet I still want those fruits to continue to develop and get the most amount of nutrients available for the best fruit, I want to move to a 0-10-10. If I start to put on new shoot growth when it's going to dormancy, the cold weather can kill those shoots and damage the tree. I like to have a lot of tip ends on my trees because I like to, it allows me to have a lot more control on how I want to prune and train the tree. So I don't like to go into those high nitrogen levels or any nitrogen towards, or very minimal nitrogen towards the end of, of, the, of the growing season. And of course, I add the kelp food for my micronutrients when I'm using specifically these inorganic amounts. Now, the fertilization recommendation for fig trees, I believe it's two tablespoons per gallon for the, uh, for the 511 and the 01010. However, when I add that and I ch try to go for a blend, if I add two tablespoons of this per one gallon and two tablespoons of this per one gallon, it's still only getting two tablespoons of both per gallon. When I use my my injector system, it's going to take a little bit of this, and a little bit of this, and a little bit of this, and a little bit of everything, because it's all in the same pot, and mix it with the same amount of water. So that means if it's going to take a tablespoon of the the, the, the fertilizer that's in the, in the injection system, then it's going to take a little bit of everything in the ratio in which I mix it. So hypothetically, if it's taking one tablespoon, it's going to take the a little bit of the 511, the 0, 10, 10, and I'll have essentially a 5, 11, 11 divided by 2, or a 2.5, 5.5, 5.5. Five I got those numbers because in 2 tablespoons per gallon, there's 511, and then 1 tablespoon is 511, 0, 10, 10. And essentially, so it's taking one of this and one of that, and if I'm feeding it 2 tablespoons per gallon, essentially, it's getting, it's getting, uh, one tablespoon of this and one tablespoon of that. But when I put it into the injection system, it's actually going to be diluted further with some water. Now, I, I use about 50%, so basically 25% of this, 25% of this, and it's about 50% diluted with water. So we do the math, and we say, okay, 25% of five, so two and a half, one and a quarter of nitrogen, and then we could do the same thing, 0.25 for one here, and uh, two and a half of that, so we, we, we get the, the gist of the blend. But for me, it's really about mixing up the, the fertilizers that I want to use and seeing how my trees respond. Same thing if you're a quick, res you're a fast responder, EMT. You, you treat the patient, you don't treat by staring at the instruments. The instruments help you understand what's going on with the patient, but you treat the patient and, and you respond accordingly. Same thing with fig trees. That's also really important to discuss when we're talking about FMV, fig mosaic virus. Uh, a lot of times the discoloration that you'll see in the, in the trees and the deformation of the leaf patterns are due to FMV. It's really important then to kind of give a higher supplement and maybe even a concentrated amount of the nitrogen to boost that up to help offshoot or offset some of that FMV. So let's get into looking at the back of these micronutrients and uh, you know, I'll just uh, put up a flat card and let you look at that for a few moments. You could always pause the video to if you want to see a little more of what's exactly in them and the micronutrients that are in each of them. Just one fat thing I just want to talk about is the CalMag. So calcium and magnesium are in the, the, the kelp plant food and it is in fact inside the chemicals. But it's important for me to use calcium and magnesium as a supplement. It also has iron in there as well. 
because that is, calcium is extremely important for our fruit trees and fruit in general. Calcium is utilized in the building blocks of every cell wall in that tree. It also helps provide a firmer fruit to help, from what I found, resist splitting and makes the tree stronger overall. So I give it an extra boost of that calcium as well. And these are all liquids and um, let me go ahead and grab my injection systems and mix up the fertilizers. Okay, so this is the system into my irrigation tank that we just filled and we just adjust the settings here. You can see on the front of here we have slow, one, two, and fast. That one and two is just setting one, setting two. Fast is actually two tablespoons, uh, at least initially for the gallon because as it's used, water comes in, out of this black tube and pushes it into this tank and then the fertilizer comes back out and up through the fertilizer it gets added to the water supply into the main drip line so it's although it says two tablespoons initially it uh, continues to be diluted until the tank runs out so the initial feeds will actually still be less than two tablespoons because we did fill this with water and we did mix the different types of fertilizers so now that's on two tablespoons we know it's going to be getting less than the required amount we can do the math but uh, it's fine, it's just um, a micro fertilizing. And this again is what works for me, just finding out what works for you in your area and your mixes. Okay guys, so that's my video on fertigation. I hope you enjoyed the video. So now that the irrigation system is hooked up, the, the feeders are hooked up, I could just simply use my phone, a couple of quick buttons, set it up and now Every time it goes to fertilize, excuse me, every time my, my trees go for to get irrigated, they will be fertilized. Thanks so much, and that's my video. And what are they supposed to do, honey? Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're notified to every video that my dad makes. Thank you so much.